Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. And when you go and watch football, you often see the name of the sponsor emblazoned across the shirt. This is perfectly normal in the upper echelons of the game. But once you get down into the depths of the football pyramid, where it becomes very wide, you will very rarely see sponsorship. Some lucky teams will manage to get one. It may be a local builder's merchants, a taxi company or a pub. But it's not common. So for a team that plays in the Spartan South Midland to League to get a sponsor, well done to them. Unfortunately, they will not have the sponsor's name emblazoned on their shirts. No, their sponsorship name has been splashed across their shorts, which is quite apt, really, because their sponsor is, well, gentleman's special interest, shall we say, something that brings joy to gentlemen. Let's look at this article. Uh, ironically, this is in the female section of the Mail Online. Uh, but nonetheless, we'll do the story. Golden Balls, non-league football team, unveils a toy firm with its new sponsor, with the company name emblazoned across the front of their shorts. Uh, a company, a, a toy company, a specialist toy company, has sponsored the crotches on the football team shorts. London Coney Football Club have partnered up with the UK specialist toy brand Lalo. It is believed to be the first time a company has ever sponsored a crotch. Well, yes, you can imagine why. Uh, so anyway, a specialist toy company has sponsored the crotch on the football team shorts and uh, the company's name will be splashed across the crotch of the home and away kits because they want to play at home and they want to play away. Do you know what? The, the double entendre in this is going to be quite immense, isn't it? Let's be honest. Lalo hopes the move will help break down the taboo of men's specialist toys. And uh, look, there's a couple of men um, and one of them has the name splashed across. The other one, not so much. Uh, so London County Football Club players have joked that the partnership meant the team won't be the only thing on the up. You know, are you going up this season? Well, we hope to be going up at the end of the season. You know, you're going to get jokes like this the whole way. This is just ripe, isn't it? It's just ripe. One player said the lads are excited about the deal. Hopefully, thanks to the partnership uh, with Lalo, it won't just be the team going up this season. I've already just cracked that joke. While nearly two thirds of men claim to have never owned a specialist toy, one in three said they would love it if their partner brought one into the bedroom. The football club, which was founded in 1907, is currently sits 16th out of 20 in the Spartan South Midlands Premier Division. It's not a very good team if it's 16 out of 20. But I'm sure the guys enjoy playing. And there they are, they're all young and fit and wonderful, aren't they? I wonder how many of them use the specialist toys. Although if they're going to get a few freebies, chances are they will because... Well, you just know men, don't you? Anyway, we'll go there, you know. <laughs> yes, you, you've, you've been found out playing with it. You're going to lay low for a while. I know, I just pull your socks up, son. Uh, Donald Williams, chairman of London County Football Club, said, We are thrilled to be working with Lalo to help create conversation around manual, men's sexual wellness. And the toys are part of the movement in breaking the stigma around it. To be fair, now I think about this, there is a bit of a stigma because you see, so we say, ladies' toys, and they're, they're amusing, shall we say. You can have a joke about it and have a gag about it. Um... And there is that very famous gag of, uh, what did you buy your wife for Christmas? I got her a rabbit and a pair of slippers. And said, why did you get them? I said, well, if she doesn't like her slippers, she can go in herself. Anyway, the sponsorship is a bold statement and we will certainly raise eyebrows, and not just eyebrows, in the world of football. And we look, to be seeing, uh, look forward to seeing the response from our fans. And eyebrows, like I say, won't be the only thing that will be raised. Lalo's UK Marketing and Communications Manager, Justine Pesher, said... We know the pandemic saw a spike, boom, boom, in male toy use. However, there is still a huge stigma around it. So what better place to spark the conversation than the world of football? Well, <laughs> which we know as many male fans across the world. Yes, and, uh, you know, never mind. It's just funny, isn't it? Um, so well done. I mean, I've got to be honest. Why not? Why the hell not? 
but also well done to the boys because they're sitting there playing this. They know they are going to be in for a load of humorous stick, you know, banter, that sort of thing. Stick it in, son. Get it, you know. <laughs> you're gonna. It's just gonna be there. Stick one in the back of the net. Stick it in. You got that. You're gonna have all sorts of things. Always offside, you know. Always come round the back, you know. Man on. You know, there's just going to be so much you can do with football, you know. But, I don't know. Anyway, just I just found it funny. I thought I'd share it. Enjoy. I'll come up and round off. Well, good on them. I mean, if they have the, uh, the balls to wear it, you know, to wear those shorts, they deserve all they get. Unless the sponsorship helps the team, fine. And I'm sure the company are happy for the free publicity they're garnering with this piece so all's well as ends well but it makes you wonder about the uh, the toys themselves i mean i suppose it must be anything must be better than the old plastic vinyl inflatable women anything's got to be better than them they look awful um and then you had the old sailor's mate thing i seem to remember being advertised back in the 70s in the back of fiesta and that isn't a car and for all you young uns out there yeah we had to go to a news agents and buy stuff like that you know, magazines, special, gentlemen's special interest magazines. We didn't have it online. We didn't have an online interest. Sad days. Life's so much simpler now. But I suppose that's how it is. But things that vibrate? Hmm. Not too sure about that. Anyway, if you like what you hear and see on the channel, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications of future output. Leave a like. Leave a comment share the video and until next time stay safe stay well don't get caught and goodbye <laughs>